y'all if you're new to the channel my name's Shayla this is Dakota and today we're going to be talking about castrating our feeder pigs so the reason we want to show you this is because we want to show you the entire process we don't want to omit anything from the process of raising your own food and when it comes to raising your own meat there are some I guess for lack of better words visceral things that have to happen whether it's the butchering or the castration or veterinary care that you have to give them throughout the process or whatever it is things get pretty gruesome and visceral at times so we don't want to take away from the entire process we want to we want to include every single bit of it so that's not just feeding and watering the pigs that's not just loading them up in a trailer and taking them to be processed uh, and we may talk to the processor about uh, videoing the kill and some of the uh, butchering process we may see if we can include that in here as well it, it'd be uh, it, it's something that people need to see because whether this is done on a corporate farm or it's done here on our homestead there's there's still a lot of similarities the big difference being our pigs get to be raised outdoors uh, the way animals are supposed to be raised but on a corporate level pigs are raised indoors in barns and they're stuck in a little bitty pen and it's just they're brought their food that's their entire existence so we we like to raise our own food because we can control the quality of the animal's life from the beginning to the end so if you haven't already like subscribe hit the bell for notifications and stay tuned we're we're not going to explain how to castrate pigs you could just watch uh this was actually my first time doing it so if it's your first time it's not that big of a deal on a pig well i've castrated our steer previously but so stay tuned if it's your first time you can do it too Thank <laughs> you. 
y'all so you just seen that it was not a pretty picture um i think he got the better end of it <laughs> yeah so you could see uh the way we were doing it it takes quite a bit of strength to hold them down at that age if we if i could do anything different i would have done it as soon as we got them when they were probably half that size uh, but it was something that we had to get done before they started uh, reaching maturity at all because the meat can get a pretty tainted, uh, tainted smell and flavor to it and and I've heard that you could actually smell the boar whenever you cook that meat so mm -hmm. it had to get done sooner than later uh, I would recommend doing it when they're weaned versus waiting this long but it's still it's it wasn't bad it only took us maybe five minutes between both of them a yeah. couple minutes each but uh, uh anyways i hope you enjoyed and come back and watch the rest of our feeder piglet videos catch you next time mm -hmm.